Good morning guys, welcome to day two of Vegas. The first night was amazing, absolute experience. Um, this place is ridiculous. I'll give you a day tour of this place. What we have planned today is gonna have a badass breakfast right now. Clock is a little behind, so my internal clock's a little off. I'm tired, but I'm not tired. We're gonna hit the gun range today. Super excited, gonna smash out probably, I wanna shoot like 30 guns, but we'll see. And then basically play it by ear, and then um, we're probably gonna hit that hot streak again gambling. Wish me luck. Lighting in here is good. I like it. So bidet, heated toilet seat. That's why I love crushing food. Yeah. So we just crushed a monster breakfast. So good. Uh, we're heading down to the pool. We have the Sky Suites pool out here at Aria. To ourselves, well not ourselves, this is it like private I guess? Yeah. But, so we're gonna hit the pool and then we are going to hit the strip and then uh, the gun range. So come with. Got the chicken legs out, ready for the pool. Ready to go. It's pretty decent. Time to lounge, relax, and we're probably gonna hit the gym later. I'm just gonna enjoy this while it's snowing in Canada. This is it. I forgot my sunglasses like an idiot, but it's nice, it's quiet. It's down season here, I guess. So uh, we're gonna book the gun range now. I think we're gonna get a workout in in between. So I'll show you guys how to work out at a hotel. All right, what's going on guys? So, um, finished up at the pool. We went back downstairs, gambled a little, lost a little bit to start, but now we are headed to Battlefield Vegas. We got the um, time capsule package. So, uh, there's quite a few guns. Yeah, there's like 25 guns, including a grenade launcher. You're gonna see it, stay tuned. Got a little burnt by the pool. It was nice today though, it was good. Yeah, I didn't unfortunately get to the gym today, but I think I might throw in a workout from possibly tomorrow in this video for you guys at the end so you can see a um, kind of like a hotel workout what we do but other than that yeah so let's go blow some shit up here comes our ride Welcome to Battlefield Vegas. Really? You want to take a stance like you're going to box? Stock in the cup of your shoulder, cheek on the stock, lean into it. Easy peasy. Thank you. Don't tell me. Ignore this, you get a red dot sight. Okay, wherever that dot is, where the. So on single right now? Yep. It's all right. What do you think? You got a headshot in there, I got one. <laughs> Lean on the sandbag if you want. Let's get a picture of it. Yeah, straight full auto. 
The, the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole lot easier. Block 17. Nice and smooth on the triggers. Alright, 1911. Now on this one we got three mags. Simulated grenade, not a live one. Right. We're in a building, okay? You're gonna grab it right here and right here. You're all set. Alright, let's take a look. Right up here. That area. Got the shoulder. Was it 10? Yeah. Want a picture? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I mean, so everybody had a good time? Oh, it was great. All right, that was fun. We're gonna head back to the room. What's going on, guys? I cleaned up, shaved the stash. Battlefield was absolutely killer. It was amazing. It was an amazing time. Killer shooting all those guns. It was just wild. It was, yeah, it's pure America moment. It was great, but now I got the city. In front of me, we are heading to Gordon Ramsay's tonight. We got a reservation. Outfit, I got my Louboutins on, red bottoms, just with a jean. Uh, Lululemon dress shirt, I believe. It's like fitted, open, really casual. And I cleaned up the stash. I was too itchy, guys. I couldn't do it. So, uh, let's go eat. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay's baby. So we don't think we necessarily need all that food. Steal the These are going to be all the different a la carte cuts of steak that we have on the menu for you tonight. We have two different styles. This is going to be all the prime beef that you see on the lower portion of the trolley. They are all 100% black Angus beef and dry aged. The first cut here is going to be the bone in New York strip steak. Of course, we also have the filet mignon. That's definitely our leanest cut on the trolley. The porterhouse steak here incorporates both the New York and the filet together with the T-bone down the center. And in our ribeye cuts, we offer a 24 ounce bone in ribeye as well as a 32 ounce Royal Long Bone Chop, which is this large cut you have right here in the center. Now up on the top of the trolley, these three cuts are going to be our American Japanese Wagyu. <laughs> so true, I know it's like a weapon, this thing right here. All right, these three steaks are the American Wagyu. It's a Japanese Kobe American Black Angus hybrid. So they are a little bit richer in flavor because they have a higher marbling content, but they're still very, very tender. This first one here is called the Eye. It's the center cut of the ribeye right here in the middle, and it has a nice bacon wrap around the outside. Top 
dinner, probably one of our most popular cuts. It is a Wagyu filet. So it's a filet mignon, one of the favorites, and definitely the highest quality tile filet. But a personal favorite of mine is going to be the rib cap right here. The rib cap is just this little outer section of the ribeye on the very bottom here. So you can see how the marbling is much more delicate in this area. When that heats up, it just melts into the steak like that. So super flavorful, really tender as well. <laughs> Any questions about the different steaks, gentlemen? Here we're getting that Wagyu A5. Got it. Even brought my light. It's cool.
What's going on guys? Back in Toronto. It's gloomy. It's cold, but I am back home. I'm glad to be home. I really wanted to come home to see Andrea and like just be back to my own bed and um, get out of that crazy, crazy place. <laughs> but it's an absolute blast. Definitely worth the check. Hope you guys loved what you saw. I wanted to tell you guys that, you know, you saw some of my meals, like my breakfast, my crazy dinners, all that stuff. I did bring my Lions fuel. I brought my meal prep in my luggage with you know, ice packs, whatever. And I ended up eating, you know, I brought some protein powder, I brought my shakes, and um, I e ate well in between, like, you know, my breakfast and like my cheat meals for those three days. I didn't get too off track, which is nice. Did carb up a little bit with all of those meals, as you can see, but I enjoyed myself, but not too much to get off track because I get like anxious about it. And I don't know, I don't like flying too off the rails, but you gotta enjoy yourself, you gotta make that time for yourself. I did not vlog the third day, I believe it was because we basically were hot on the tables, so like we did hit the tables, but you can't film at the tables at all. So we hit the tables again, and most of the day, like I fell asleep in the sun for hours, and I got kind of like a little sick, but I, we like, were by the pool again, as you saw, and then uh, we hit the tables, and then we hit a quick dinner before we went to the Cirque du Soleil, the Michael Jackson one show. It was absolutely stellar, like crazy. These people are so talented, it's ridiculous. It made me like, what, what do I do? Like, what am I doing with my life? You know what I mean? Like these people are absolutely insane. On stage and it was amazing so we couldn't film there obviously and then I literally went home and went to bed got up and uh, crushed that workout but I did not do much that day other than sleep in the Sun relax rest I you know barely use my phone even and it was nice it was nice a little wind down time it was cool so that's what I did on the third day summed it up in you know this video for what I actually did like the crazy gun stuff and whatever I hope you really enjoyed this uh, I was fun as hell to film and it was fun as hell to just bring you guys with me and I really hope you liked it now we're gonna get back to the fitness we're gonna crush it in the gym and I cannot wait to show you, you know my, my lean bulk phase and what we have coming for this a lot of exciting things to come guys so I really hope you enjoyed this if you really liked it smash that like button subscribe share it with your friends who are thinking about going to Vegas and checking it out other than that I will see you in the next vlog guys cheers